right, it's live at five, and we're doing offer review, and this is going to be a special one. And I'm just going to say, do you guys, Fox Six, do you watch what I do here? My goodness, some of these offers look like they're priced specifically to target me. I don't know what to say, so let's get into this. Um, okay, endless energy bundle. $24, $20 for $2,400 power. Yes. This, okay, this is about worth $20 right here alone. Uh, this right here is the Tech Orb. So that's the one that has um, Iron Heart in it, where in the middle you get, you get a minimum of six, but it actually can do, I don't know, up to 180. Good luck on that. I've done that once maybe. Um, so that's worth about three bucks to me, maybe a little more than three bucks. And I don't know what these are worth because I don't really value those. So, um, this is, this is not a terrible deal. So let's, let's just say, I'm not going to buy this because I really don't need all this energy right now. But if you need energy and you need to farm everything, I get it. This is, this is actually like a, a C plus B minus offer. Let's move on because there are some juicy ones in here that I do like. All right. Power core deal. I'm already going to tell you this is a buy, and I'll tell you why right here. So first of all, let's just go over here. Those are worth about a dollar a piece. So that's worth about two bucks. That's worth about three dollars. So that's worth about five bucks, and that's worth about three dollars also. So that's eight dollars. And the power cores are worth what is that worth? Twelve bucks? Thirteen bucks worth of power cores? Yeah, it's it's decent. Um, so I'm going to buy this right here, uh, because just the power cores alone are worth it about right there. So, uh, I'm buying this right now. Um, cause I, I buy peer, I buy power cores from time to time anyways, and I'll just take all that extra stuff. Sure. And on the end is, I believe training materials, which I don't need that orb, but I'll take the rest of it. Okay. Let's move on. Let's go down to the next offer. Thank you. Okay. We're going to whale hard today, man. Wow. Okay. So this is the best price I've seen this at. Now I want to say two things before we get into this. The, the best price I've seen this at prior to this offer right here was $19 for 100 uh, superior basic catalyst SBCs. Now the scam on this is that each character needs about a thousand to go to 14. So I just need a billion of these. Uh, I'm in desperate shortage of these so i will be buying this uh i understand it's just like there's this is why i've been saying uh if you're not going to take a character all the way to 14 stop at 12 like go up through 11 when you get to 12 don't spend any gold pieces on characters unless you're going to go all the way up to 14 because i did characters like shield medic and shield trooper and those gold materials i need for more important characters today. And part of that is this. So this is the best price I've seen them sell, Superior Basic Catalyst for. So I'm gonna buy that right there. Um, put my money where my mouth is. And that's, we're just gonna do that. We're gonna get going. I don't know if that's a good value or not to you, but that's the best price I've seen SBCs for. So let's move on to the next one. Let's, get, let's keep going. Next. <laughs> Special Orb Frenzy. Okay, so I personally value uh, gold orbs at $2 a piece. So this is $8. I do not need training orbs. Whoops, we got a little blurry there. But other people do need training orbs. And I don't. So I'm not going to buy this. I think other people might buy this. But I just don't see any value in this orb right here. That's training orbs. I just don't need them. So we're going to move on. Let's go to the next offer right here. <laughs> Premium orb. I say this almost every day. I value premium orbs at $1 a piece. All right, so I'm gonna buy those because uh, that's $1 a piece. We're gonna buy two of those and maybe we'll get some Minerva, maybe we'll get some Yo-Yo, probably not. But uh, that's where I personally value. And this, when I saw this offer, I was like, oh man, do they watch, do they watch me scream lube and trash? every day here on Twitch. I just wonder if they do or not. Um, it kind of made me giggle when I saw that. I was like, oh boy, probably, I don't know. Let's move on. Let's move on to the next one right here. I'm gonna guess, I've had no feedback from them on my offer review, by the way. So uh, we're just gonna be moving on. All right, so what do we got here? All right, oh, oh God. Spidey, Sail, Red Star, Draft. 
equal percent of three, four, five for the following characters, Spider-Man, Venom, Miles, Carnage, and Symbiote Spider-Man. So you got five there. Oh boy. I got to tell you, I have most of these characters already up and running. And uh, the only character, the two characters that I'm the most interested on this list, of course, is going to be Carnage and Symbiote Spider-Man. And I already have both of them at five stars myself, personally. Uh, it would be nice to have Venom up to a little higher. I'm not really that interested currently in OG Spider-Man or Miles. Uh, I'm just waiting for two more symbiotes. I'm not going to buy this personally. Uh, if you are have like no stars on these, I guess maybe it's a good deal. Three stars is playable. Four stars is great. Five stars is amazing. Uh, but and two of these. Two of these characters are over the top good. Carnage and Symbiote Spider-Man. Spider-Man Spider is probably my favorite character currently next to Black Bolt. Uh, and Venom is right there with Carnage also. But really, this is my favorite guy right there. So I'm not going to buy this, but um, I don't know. You make up your own mind. Look at your roster and see what you have and what you need and whether or not you're in love with this guy as much as I am. Let's move on. Oh, my God. This is not new. I bought this a couple weeks ago, uh, 19 pieces for $20. In theory, this would be a good value, but whenever I open this, I get all tech, garbage. Let's move on. That's all I get when I open this is tech. You guys see me scream at the top of my lungs when I pull tech. I'm not gonna do that, I hate that. If I could pick what I wanted, if I could pick, you know, right here and get some mystic or, or mutant rather, and then pick what I wanted, get some bio, get some get some tech that would be different but i have no choice over this no selection i'm gonna get all skill garbage anyways let's move on hella okay this was in the offer tour this a lot of people ask me if this is bugged it really kind of bothers me a little bit that um i yes i've insulted the five 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 fives and say man if you're gonna give it your charges uh 30 bucks for 50 shards. At least give us some lube and give us some spit. Boy, they're raw dogging it right here. We don't even get lube or spit or nothing. We don't even get a forethought. They don't give us anything. No 50, 50, 50. Just for raw 50 for $30. But Hell is amazing. And she's the pathway to essentially three legendary characters. Phoenix, Black Bolt, and then Black Bolt leads you to Ebony Ma. So if purchasing this helps you get a legendary character... Do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. Wait harder. This game is about either being patient or spending, and the choice is yours. Uh, but I'm gonna say this: if you're of the disposition to ever spend thirty whole dollars on fifty character charge, which is an insane ripoff, this is probably the one to do it. Let's move on. Let's move on. Mega Orb offer. I don't like these. Um, I, this is straight ultimate food for me, and I personally don't think that these are worth more than $5. When I open these, I get nothing but straight stuff that goes into Ultimus. Maybe newer players like these more than me. You can decide, but me personally, I will not be buying this. It seems to me that we're going to be getting five uh, mega orbs over the next two weeks because of the calendar. I've read some posts that they're having uh, difficult that it's not showing up for some of the, the EU, UK people are not getting the calendar. Uh, there was a Reddit post about that, and I forwarded that to the developers. But for me, uh, I'm not going to be interested in this unless it's $5 for me. So I'm going to move on. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> oh, my God. Fox next. Fox next. Wow. Um, this is one of these offers where I, it's really hard for me to say to buy this. So here's the problem I have with this is normally that we get these offers for $29, 30 bucks, 30 bucks for 50 shards. And all they've done here is give us one gold orb and some, uh, what is that, training materials. doesn't matter. Something I don't want. This is worth two bucks. So really what they've done is they've raised the price from a lot of them being $30 for 50 character shards. And this is actually like $33 for 50 character shards. I currently have a six gold star symbiote Spider-Man and I am done. I'm not buying this. I'm not going to do it. Uh, there's going to be one more. They said initially at one point in time that there was going to be a total of three symbiote Spider-Man, Darth Spidey, Milestone events. We've had two. They also said that they could change the terms of the event and uh, loosen up the requirements or make the 
the requirements more strict. So they did say that several months ago that there was going to be a total of three uh, Dark Spidey events. Um, here's the deal. Unfortunately, this guy is my second favorite character right now. Maybe my most favorite character next to Black Bolt only. Phoenix is probably the best character in the game, but I feel like she's peaked and she's kind of, plus I've played her for a long time. This guy is my favorite right now. Him and Black Bolt are my favorite. Uh, do whichever you want. I don't know. He's amazing. He's quite good. I love him. Let's move on. But this is horrific pricing. And frankly, this 555 is insulting. If we're going to take it, at least spit on it. Give us 50-50-50. Give us, give us some lube, my God. Fox next. Give us some lube. Let's move on. All right. <laughs> Red Star support draft. I don't like this at all. Well, first of all, this is only a chance between a two and a three. And twos are really not playable, in my opinion. Threes are playable. And if it's a really good character, uh, you probably want to take them to four anyways. Uh, this is not going to help me at all. This would strictly go right into uh, T4 tickets. So let's move on. Elite tickets. All right. Red Star Mega Pack. Personally, to keep things simple, I value Red Star Orbs at $3 a piece. Therefore, I value this at about $15. So $19, $20 is too much. So let's move on. All right. Orb draft. Oh boy. They're getting tricky on these. They're getting tricky on these guys. Oh boy. Oh, I'm not going to buy this. I'll tell you why. Okay. So $1. I get it. Oh boy, this is a tough one because it's almost worth it. Personally, I value red stars at $3 a piece. Premium orbs at $1 a piece. Training dollars at zero dollars and basic orbs. I don't know, but it's they're worth probably at least a dollar. So this is not a terrible deal. The problem I have with this is I don't want these training orbs, and I'm not I'm gonna feel like I threw away a dollar if I get these training orbs, and I'm just unwilling to do that. If this did not have the training orbs, I would buy this. If you need the training orbs, which I don't, go for it. Let's move on. Let's move on. Mega orbs. God, garbage. Trash. Oh, my God. This is garbage. They're out of their minds if they think a mega orb is worth $24. Five bucks, man. There's one up just above there for 10 bucks. I don't even think that one's worth it, let alone this one. Trash. All right. Let's move on. All right. Endless energy bundle. I actually like the, the one that was up top. Uh, little. Well, they're very similar, except the only difference with the one up there had the, the pack with... Um, the Ironheart Orb, uh, which uh, we're going to have a Blitz on Thursday the 11th. And so probably the Blitz will run twice. Uh, and they're also going to fix her ultimate. Uh, right now it's not working correctly. I can't wait to test that on Red Skull after the patch, which I believe will happening uh, probably midweek next week. So probably about four or five days from now. Anyways, um, buy it if you want to. I don't know. I'm not going to buy this. Uh, this is kind of a Whaley offer. Let's move on. Oh, isn't this the same offer? We've already seen this. We already seen this offer. This is well, this is a little different. Premium gold ability basic. I believe the other one up there for a dollar that has the red star one is of more value. I value red star orbs more than the gold orbs. Uh, but let's move on. Let's move on to the next one. Anyways, I'm not gonna buy this for the same reason right there. Ability orbs. Don't I don't need the ability orbs. I don't need training orbs. So I don't put any value on those orbs right there. So I don't want to spend a dollar and get something that has no value to me. Let's move on. Pack of shame. Oh, what does it say right here? One purchase left. Yes, I bought the pack of shame. We did win our war. Came down to one match in one room. And I was the last person to go in. And I had to fight my Inhumans versus their Colson while somebody on the other team was fighting a Merc team. And I finished first and we won the war. And I want to say that the Pack of Shame won the match. It's kind of nefarious if you think about it. That uh, purchasing this will allow us to fin fa finish faster. Wow, that's a weird sentence. Um, anyways, the reason why we buy it is for this currency right here. The war currency is very valuable. I can get five Mr. Sinister shards with that or Sif. And that is the, the lube and that is the spit. I believe this pack gets purchased a lot in a highly competitive Alliance Wars uh, situation. So let's move on. This is the bad version of the Pack of Shame. So I don't recommend this. I do not like this. Uh, this is a value. The other three are very little value to me, but 
Uh, you, I would su suggest buying the one above there because it comes with uh, the war, the war store currency, which I think is very valuable. And so this is like the the broken heels girls that are leaving the club at two in the morning and their heels are broken because they've been drinking all night and they that's 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 the pack of sh that's the walk of shame. This is the the walk of shame pack. Let's move on. Mixed energy bundle. Okay. Um, but I, I like the idea of this if it had like 800 energy or if it had like 2000, 2000, 2000. The reason why I don't really care for this pack is I don't see a lot of value in that. Don't see a lot of value in that. Don't see a lot of value in that. And it's just not enough right there. That's not really worth much. Uh, that's really not worth much. It's just like one tenth of an orb. I don't get it. Uh, and you know, 400 energy. I think if it was like 600 to 800, maybe I'd buy it, but no, let's move on. Uh, ultimate orb frenzy offer. The only thing that's ultimate about this offer is the price. Personally, I value gold orbs at $2 a piece and premium orbs at $1 a piece. So this is worth about $12. That's worth about $6 for a total of $18. No, that's uh, $25. Let's move on. Limited time sale. Okay, so this is worth about $4 in mobile boomer math and that's worth about a buck let's say uh so that's for only five bucks so that's not a good value so we're gonna move on next these right here are just trash to me unless you're like um trying to get the first time completion and your alliance is all kind of chipping in to get a first time completion on a u7 and get those juicy juicy t4s i don't see any reason to be buying this and if you're having to buy this regularly i'm I, i'm thinking you're um you need to improve your, your U7, your raid team, uh, rather than buying this. I mean, get your team up and running so you don't have to buy this would be my suggestion. Really is no reason to buy this. Uh, not a good value. Let's move on. Uh, same right here. Just I see no value in this. I'm not a blitzer, though. If you're a blitzer, maybe go for it. I'm just I'm not a blitzer. I milestone only raid pack. I don't see any value in this myself. Trash. And then right here. Oh, it took me all the way to the bottom. All right. Fix your game, Box Next. It just kicked me all the way to the top, all the way down. Boy, if I had to do this with my fingers, my fingers would be broken. Uh, you know, and, I, and I'm already going to be salty if I get down to the bottom and there's no, oh, then if there's no 10 for 10. I like those 10 for 10. Can you guys bring those 10 for 10s back? Uh, it gave me like an incentive. There were days where I would never go into the store and look at any of these offers. And the only reason why I go down here, I'm going to buy this. Uh, I see the value in the, the energy right there. Uh, and that's the only offer that I've ever seen for cores other than buying refreshes. So typically what I spend cores on is just the energy refreshes, the 50s. And then I also buy the 100s uh, for the energy refreshes to get the 120 energy. These other things around here are just not a good value at all. No, 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 no. Garbage. Anyhow. That wraps up offer review. And again, Fox Next, please give us a 10 for 10. If you're going to make us break our fingers and scroll all the way down to the bottom, at least give us a 10 for 10. All right, we do this every day live at 5, which is server reset, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Twitch. And so server reset is when uh, the packs refresh, uh, when your donations for your alliance refreshes, and typically when the new blitzes start. All right, guys, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.